All right, today we're going to replace the brake rotor on a 2015 Corvette C7. So this job isn't very difficult. Um, it should take you about 15 minutes per corner. Um, I picked up my brake rotors. They are centric. It's from a website called CarID, C-A-R-I-D.com. Um, I bought front and rear rotors, 200 bucks for all four. Actually, it was closer to $198 for all four. They are almost identical to OEM GM. I'm, I would imagine there's probably something different um, because the OEM ones are about um, twice as much money. What I did like about these uh, centric rotors is the centers are black. Uh, so with the black wheels, it looks a lot better when you look down into the wheel. So right now I'm positioning my jack. Uh, you, you make sure that you have yourself a, uh, a hockey puck for your jack to lift the car on. And uh, there's a little hole underneath the car check your owner's manual you want to place that hockey puck right at that hole or get some uh, lifting pucks that fit into the car and then just put your jack on those lifting pucks and uh, lift the car up into the air you don't want to jack your car using any other position than the four lifting positions that GM has pointed out for you So I've already loosened the lug nuts on the wheel and uh, now I'm going to remove the wheel. I get the car up just high enough so the tire will come off without dragging on the ground. The tires I have on this car are Michelin uh, AS3 Plus. Uh, I've decided to go with a non-run flat tire. And all the years that I've owned Corvettes, I've never had a flat tire. So I figure I'm going to take a risk. I have AAA. They'll tow me 100 miles. I do have a spare set of wheels and tires sitting in the corner of the garage. so. If I ever do get a flat and I can't get AAA to come out, I'll just tell my wife to throw one of the wheels in the car and be on her way so I can uh, replace the tire on the side of the road. So with the wheel out of the way, you can now see my brake rotor. Um, this brake rotor has about 47,000 miles on it. It's not badly warped, but when I do hit the brakes, uh, I do get a pulsating. Um, typically, the rule that I go by is when I replace a set of tires, it's only $100 for a set of rotors. You might as well spend the $100 and buy a set of rotors and replace your tires and your rotors at the same time. Your car will ride a lot better. It's a lot smoother when you have brand new rotors. So now I've got a a big breaker bar on the 21 millimeter bolts which hold your caliper on. When I tell you that the uh, torque that GM uses for these 21 millimeter bolts is extraordinary, uh, mark my words. Uh, this is probably uh, why, why they put so much torque on these bolts is beyond me. I, I don't know but there must be a reason behind it. Um, I don't ever plan to race this car and I'm pretty sure the person that had it before me didn't race this car. Maybe the next guy will, but I'll have taken these calipers off at least four times um, by the time I get rid of this car. But uh, just just incredible the uh, the amount of torque that they put on these bolts. If you're going to torque down a bolt that much, why not just use the red Loctite? That's my thought.
that is one big ass bolt and I just pointed out to you that uh, GM did use blue Loctite or some kind of blue locking compound on the bolt when they installed it at the factory. So here I'm removing the caliper. Um, I'm going to get that last bolt out of there that's holding it on. So when I remove my caliper, watch here. So I'm kind of prying the caliper off of the rotor. And the reason I do that is to separate the brake pads. When you put the caliper back on a new rotor, the new rotor is going to be wider than the rotor that you just pulled the... Uh, caliper off of. So I'm taking a towel, just a small towel, and uh, I'm going to take some a piece of electrical tape and I'm going to wrap around this towel just to protect that red caliper. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of pictures of guys who have done this and they've just totally butchered up the paint on their caliper uh, and I'm, I'm not a big fan. One of the things that drew me to this black car was when I looked at it and I saw the uh, red calipers through the wheels I was like oh yeah with black wheels those red calipers would really stand out so I'm gonna protect my calipers now I put a Torx bit on a ratchet and uh, I'm gonna break free the Torx screw that holds the rotor onto the hub a nice benefit that GM gives you it um, holds that holds that rotor in place while you're working on the uh, hub or the front end and you're moving the removing the caliper some cars don't have that and the uh, the rotor just kind of like wobbles around on the lugs so before you mount your new rotor always match it up to the old one make sure it's the same diameter uh, make sure the holes are all the same you know parts parts companies are run by human beings and they do make mistakes so there you go there's the new rotor on the car and uh, tell me that that powder coated center in black doesn't look better than uh, just the factory metal color of the OEM so online this rotor was it was uh, $38 and the pair of them shipped was $99 and again that was from car ID C A R I D dot com and uh, they do use UPS and I want to say these rotors came out of California and I had them within three days which for UPS is amazing because uh, UPS doesn't normally move packages very quickly in my experience so here's my first bolt and I'm just putting a nice uh, nice coat of blue Loctite on it uh, I'm gonna say uh, don't use red Loctite if all you have in your toolbox is red Loctite um, jump in the car run down to the auto parts store and get some blue Loctite if you use red Loctite on this next time you will never ever get those bolts out check your manual for the torque specs for this caliper because um, as you're sit or you know online as you're sitting in your office chair reading what the torque specs are for these uh, caliper bracket bolts um, you're gonna leave a brown stain in your office chair uh, because it's pretty high trust me on this one So I have these caliper bolts in place and uh, 
Now what I'm going to do is take a 3 8 ratchet with a half inch converter and I'm going to put the 21 millimeter socket on that 3 8 ratchet. Uh, it's a little bit easier to get it inside the wheel well and tighten down those bolts. And again, these brake rotors came from carid.com and they were $198 for the front and rear. My car is set up with an 18 uh, front and a 19 rear wheel, um, but I believe if you're driving a Z51, you just have to get the uh, bigger uh, discs for the front and the the rear the rear brake rotors are the same size uh, I believe on the Z51 as the base is um, and it may be the same for the Z06 as well uh, I, I don't know you need to check your manual for rotor sizes but I do know between my car and the Z51 the front rotors on the Z51 are larger and the calipers are a little bit larger So typically when I go to torque um, any bolt down, and it's amazing the amount of torque that this car needs. So my first torque setting, I set the torque wrench at 100 foot-pounds. And I torque both those bolts down at 100 foot-pounds. And once I get them to 100, then I go ahead and I set the torque wrench to um, the setting that my manual calls for. Um, again, I'm not going to tell you what that is because your car might be different from mine. Do check your manual or go online and uh, check what the torque specs are for your particular car. Uh, I'm going to tell you that the number is greater than 150 foot-pounds. And um, I'm under 50 years old and getting a torque wrench onto these bolts and torquing it to the spec that GM requires um, is incredible and it was very close to kicking my ass so um, you know keep that in mind when you're doing this job that this is the hardest part of the entire job but if you don't get it to uh, um, the GM specs you know try to get it as close as you possibly can I'm 100% sure that uh, that blue Loctite that you put on those bolts um, will hold the caliper in place for you. You should be okay. Um, at least I'm going to be okay. I don't plan on racing this car, so it's not like my caliper is going to fall off the car while I'm driving down the road at 55 miles an hour. So I'm putting the wheel back on. I use um, Gorilla Tuner Lugs on my wheels. Uh, they're black tuner lugs. Uh, you know, I'm not a real big fan of regular lug nuts because they just look like everybody else's lug nuts, whether they're black or chrome or whatever. The uh, tuner lugs just look a little bit more modern on a car. And then they come with a uh, little tuner um, lug socket I guess you'd call it uh, maybe it makes it a little bit harder for somebody to steal your wheels it's not going to make it any harder for a thief to steal your wheels because they know exactly what they're doing um, but you know what I, I don't care I got insurance on the car if my wheels get stolen I'm just gonna call the insurance company and get some different wheels the wheels I have on here um, I bought these after I bought the car. Once I got the car, title for the car, uh, I replaced the uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sports that were on the car uh, because when I test drove this car, it was 40 degrees and the car kept breaking free. And uh, I wasn't really pleased about that. But I've had these Michelin AS3 Pluses in negative 2 
uh, degrees at about 3 a.m. heading to Asheville, North Carolina one morning and um, tires felt good. And when the, when the weather is uh, 60 degrees out, uh, the tires are really good. So I'm really looking forward to when it warms up here in North Carolina. Um, you know, and the roads are 100 degrees and the, the outside temperature is 80. Then uh, it's going to be, uh, this car is really going to handle nice. And uh, these are the AS3 Plus non-run flat which is uh, kind of nice. I'm a, I'm a fan of a non-run flat tire just because uh, they're a little bit quieter in the car going down the road, but they stick just as well. So hey, um, thanks for watching my video. Um, as I lower the car, all we have left is uh, pull the jack out and then we're gonna torque the tires down, torque the wheels down. My car in this aspect is probably the same as your C7. Uh, it's going to be 100 foot-pounds on the lugs. So we set our lug wrench at 100, we set our torque wrench at 100 foot-pounds. And we just go around the wheel and torque them all down. And I like to torque down my lug wrenches. Um, my I like to torque down my lugs, um, you know, twice, and then I'll come back around and do it once just for safety. So thanks for watching my video. I hope this helped you out. Um, again, um, enjoy that Corvette and give this a try. For $200, what do you've got to lose?